themselves writers because that's what they do. They write their names, among other things, everywhere. Names they've been given or have chosen for themselves. Most of all, they write in and on subway trains, which carry their names from one end of the city to the other. It's called bombing. And it has equally assertive counterparts in rap music and break dance. Graffiti writing in New York is a vocation. Its traditions are handed down from one youthful generation to the next. To some, it's art. To most people, however, it is a plague that never ends. A symbol that we've lost control. Graffiti, as the name itself, is not an art. But I can sure as hell tell you that that's a crime. At the Grand Concourse, 149th Street Station in the Bronx, graffiti writers gather at what they call the writer's bench. The system is out of control, and the 15 and 16 year old kids are running the system, and that graffiti is a symbol of that. Nah, no, I ain't running the system. Hell yeah. I'm bombing the system. <laughs> What'd you do last night? We did um, two whole cars. It was me, Dez, and me, three, right? And on the first car, in small letters, it said, All you see is, and then, you know, big, big, you know, it's black silver letters and said, crime in the city. The idea of style and competing for the best style is the key to all forms of rocking. For the rap MC, it's rocking the mic. For the B-boys, it's rocking the body and break dancing. Or for writers, rocking the city with your name on a train. It's a name. It's just like, I'll give you a name and you say, hey, how big did you get this name up? Hi. It's called going all city. People see your tags in Queens, uptown, downtown, all over. We were tagging with the Unis, then the Minis, then the Marbies, then the Pilots, then the Flow Pens. And we were doing clouds around the tags and 3Ds on the tags. We just, we just had an orgasm. Out here the bomb, period, that's what I started for. I didn't, I didn't start writing to go to Paris, I didn't start writing to do canvases. I started writing the bomb. I saw it all along. That's what I'm doing. In the 1970s, New York graffiti, rapping, and breaking became the prime expression in a new young people subculture called hip hop. Ray Origin, yo, you wanted to stand out, right? Yeah, Graffiti is the written word, there's the spoken word of rap music, and then there's the acrobatic body language of dances like breaking. letters that said all you see is and then you know big big you know black silver letters that said crime in the city the idea of style and competing for the best style is the key to all forms of rocking for the rap mc it's rocking the mic for the b-boys it's rocking the body and break dancing or for writers rocking the city with your name on the train it's a name it's just like i'll give you a name and you say hey how big did you get this name up going all city. People see your tags in Queens, uptown, downtown, all over. We were tagging with the Unis, then the Minis, then the Marbies, then the Pilots, then the Flow Pens. And we were doing clouds around the tags and 3Ds on the tags. We just, we just had an orgasm. Out here the bomb, period. That's what I started for. I didn't, I didn't start writing to go to Paris. I didn't start writing to do canvases. I started writing the bomb. In the 1970s, New York graffiti, rapping, and breaking became the prime expression in a new young people's 
Silver letters and said crime in the city. The idea of style and competing for the best style is the key to all forms of rocking. For the rap MC, it's rocking the mic. For the D-boys, it's rocking the body and break dancing. Or for writers, rocking the city with your name on the train. 